Hello everyone, my name is Ira Cloud and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to do this holiday Christmas full glam makeup look. I'm going to use my regular makeup products that I usually use and also I'm going to show you more options by showing you some affordable products. So if you're interested how to do that, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm going to start off from the eyebrows and before I use any brow products, I'm going to prime my forehead using the NYX Angel Veal Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm applying the primer only on my forehead to blend the concealer easily. Of course, I will apply the primer on the rest of my face later. For eyebrows today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe, and I'm going to do my eyebrows as usually. I'm dragging the line on the bottom, then on the top of the brow, and then filling the rest of the brow and also I'm filling in the inner corner. Then I'm brushing my hairs up and down to blend the product with the spoolie. I'm going to carve up my eyebrows using the Max Factor Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige and Flat Brush. I'm blending the concealer using my fingertips and also the damp beauty blender. For eyebrow gel, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in the shade Medium Brown. Of course, you can use affordable products. For the eyebrows, you can use the Catrice Brow Powder Set in the shade 10 or Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil in the shade to light brown. Alright, brows are done and time for the fun part, the eyes. And today I'm going to use the tape to make the cut eye shape. I'm going to apply the tape lower than my eye to connect lower eyelid with the outer corner. For a primer today I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot Eyeshadow Base and I'm going to apply it on the upper and the lower eyelids. So first I'm going to start off with the transition shade. 16 colors eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use red color. This is affordable palette and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm applying this color using tapping motions in the crease and I'm building up the shape of the eye and I'm stamping the color into the crease. I'm doing like cat eye wink in the crease. Then I'm taking big blending brush without any eyeshadow on it and I'm blending the transition shade. Alright guys, time for the red shade in the crease and I'm going to take this bright red shade from the Yusha 16 Colors eyeshadow palette and I'm going to apply it with tapping motions in the crease. And I'm taking small blending brush and the previous shade and also a little bit of the red shade from this palette and I'm going to blend the harsh edges that I have. I have the Inglot red eyeshadow in the shade 301 and I will use also this one to deepen the crease even more. And I'm blending the crease using big blending brush and the previous shades. Okay, now I'm going to cut the crease using the same MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and flat brush. I'm going to apply black gel pencil on the upper and the lower water lines and between my lashes. Today I'm going to use the Maybelline Tattoo Liner in the shade 900 Deep Onyx. I will take angled brush and I'm going to blend this pencil and then I'm going to apply black shade from the Maybelline The Nudes palette on the upper and the lower eyelids and also on the upper and the lower water lines to set the pencil and to blend it. You can use your favorite black 
eyeshadow. Alright guys, time for the green shade and I'm going to use the affordable Kimaru Cosmetics palette from AliExpress and I'm going to take this gorgeous shimmer green shade right here. But before, I'm going to apply the Essence Cajal Pencil in the shade 25 feel. It is going to be my sort of base on the cut crease before I apply the main green color to make it even more pigmented. And I'm going to blend it using the regular eyeshadow brush. Now time for the green shimmer shade. I'm using flat brush and applying this shade all over the cut crease and leaving the harsh edge on the cut crease. And I'm reapplying the shade using my fingertip. I will take super bright white shade from this palette and I will take not the whole shade but the white shade and I'm going to apply it on the inner corner and a little bit on the brow bone. You can take your favorite white shimmer shade. Oh my god! Oh my god! I Oh! Oh my god! Now this is Christmas makeup look. I will add some glitter and this is You Can Be pigment in the shade 8 Solo. This is super affordable and I will add it on the cut crease. But before, I'm going to apply the NYX glitter primer. I'm using tapping motions to not mess up the green eyeshadow and I'm applying the glitter. Alright guys, time for the wink and I'm going to draw the wink using the Essence Liquid Ink Waterproof Eyeliner and this is super affordable eyeliner and I'm going to do very big wink to make the cut eye shape of the eye and also I'm going to extend the inner corner. Because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to darken the outer corner and hide the wing. And now I'm taking the Maybelline The News palette and I'm taking the black shade and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner using tapping motions to deepen the outer corner and also to hide the wing. Now I'm going to blend the edges using small blending brush and I'm going to take it in the crease. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of the black shade on the lower lash line and also I'm going to blend it with the red color. Also we will blend the lower lash line later. Now I'm going to do quickly off camera the second eye and I'll be right back. Alright guys, time to take off the scotch tape. I'm going to clean up my face using the makeup removal wipes. Alright guys, time to finish the face makeup. And first I'm going to apply the NYX Angel Veal Skin Perfecting Primer on the rest of my face. I'm going to color correct and I'm using the NYX Color Correcting Palette. I'm using green color corrector to cover the redness and blemishes on my face. I'm using flat brush. And I'm blending the concealer using my fingertips to warm up this product and to blend it easily. I'm using red color corrector and applying it under my eyes. Also, I'm adding some red color corrector around my mouth. I'm using the beige corrector from the same palette to hide the color corrector on my face. I'm blending the corrector once again using my fingertips. Time for the foundation and I have the Catrice All Matte Shine Control Makeup Foundation in the shade 28N Neutral Amber Beige. I'm going to cover my blemishes uh, using the Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream or you can use the Max Factor Pan Stick I have in the shade 12 True Beige. The Catrice one is more affordable. For a concealer, I'm going to use affordable one, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade 15 Honey. And I'm going to apply this concealer under my eyes and I'm blending that in using a damp beauty blender and also I'm taking the flat brush to clean up the shape of the eye. For powder, today I'm going to use the Light and Breathable Loose Powder Cover 
all from the Magical Hello Cosmetics. This is transparent powder from AliExpress. And also this is super affordable powder and I'm going to apply this powder all over my face. Also, I can add some more of the pressed powder. I have the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is affordable and I'm going to powder my face a little bit more because I have very oily skin. Time for the blush, contour, bronzer and highlighter. For contour, I'm going to use the Inglot's Coating Powder in the shade 510. This is the coolest shade that they have. And I'm going to apply it under my cheekbones, on my forehead, under the bottom lip to make my lips look fuller, on my chin, and on my nose. Instead of the Inglot, you can also use the Essence Contouring Duo Palette in the shade 10 Lighter Skin. This is more affordable contouring powder. I'm going to use the Bourja Puree Blush in the shade 54 Frosted Rose. I'm applying the blush on my cheeks and on my nose. And I'm adding some of the Shimmer Blush from the Catrice cheek palette. To warm up my face, I'm going to use the bronzer, Maybelline This City Bronzer in the shade 250 Medium Warm. I have also more affordable bronzers, the Catrice Matte Face and Body Bronzer, and also I have the Catrice Cheek Palette, and I have also bronzer here, but this is more shimmery bronzer, and this is also affordable bronzer. But today, I'm going to use the City Bronzer, also, I'm adding some of the bronzer from the cheek palette. This bronzer is more shimmery. Okay, time to finish the eye makeup. And for lower lash line, I'm going to add some more of the black eyeshadow from the Maybelline New York, the Nudes palette. And also, I'm going to blend it with the same red color from the Yusha 16 color eyeshadow palette. And now I'm taking this pinkish shade from the same palette and I'm going to blend the lower lash line with a small blending brush. Time for the mascara and false lashes. Today I'm going to use also the lash primer. I have the Isadora Lash Energy. This is like treatment mascara, but this is also like a primer. Also, you can use affordable one. For example, the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. Super volume with super fruits. Time for the mascara and I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent Mascara in the shade Radical Black. But you can use your favorite mascara. For example, I have affordable one from the Essence, the Get Big Lashes Volume Curl Mascara or the Maybelline Colossal Go Extreme Leather Black or the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So you can use whatever mascara you want. First, I'm applying the mascara on the lower and then on the upper lashes and I'm applying the mascara on the both sides of the lashes. For lashes today I'm going to use the affordable lashes from AliExpress Scone Heat 5 Fashion Eyelashes and I'm going to take the largest lashes that I have. I'm reapplying the mascara on my top lashes to stick my own lashes with the fake eyelashes and also um, reapplying the eyeliner to hide the line from the lashes. Alright guys, time for the lips and today I'm going to do classic red lips for the Christmas. First, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. Then I'm going to line my lips using the Essence Stay 8 Hours Lip Liner in the shade 8 passionate. This is affordable pencil. I'm going to do very hardcore overlining as usually. I'm lining my lips and filling them in. I'm using the NYX lip brush number 20 to make my lips look sharp. I'm going to use the Essence Stay 8 Hours Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 8 Dare You. This is also affordable lipstick and of course you can use any red lipstick that you like. I'm carving my lips using the matte Max Factor Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige and Flat Brush. Alright, time for the setting spray and highlighter. For a setting spray today, I'm going to use the Diego de la Palma setting spray. For highlighter, I'm going to use the MAC C18 Soft and Gentle Highlighter. And I will mix it with the highlighters from the Catrice Cheek Palette, the affordable palette. 
but you can also use more affordable highlighter, for example, the Essence Highlighter in the shade 20 Hypnotic. And of course, you can use more affordable setting spray, for example, the Catrice ones, Long Lasting Prime and Fine Fixing Spray, and also the Oil Control Matte Fixing Spray for oily skin. I'm applying the highlighter right after I applied the setting spray to make the highlighter more pigmented. I'm applying the highlighter on the cheekbones, a little bit on the temples, on the tip of the nose, on the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow, on the chin, and on the forehead. Also, I'm applying this to highlighters from the Catrice Cheek Palette. Alright guys, and that was the Holiday Glam Christmas Makeup Look slash Transformation. In this video, I showed you more options when it comes to makeup, so I proved you that no matter the brand or the price, you can do whatever type of makeup you want. So, if you enjoyed watching this video, had fun with me or found it useful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, that all is it a cloud. And see you in my next video. Bye! And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! I'm filming it in November. Yeah, it's November now, but... Oh my god, I like that! Oh my god, I live for this makeup look. Christmas makeup look. One more time. Alright guys, and that was the holiday color. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hello everyone, my name is Ida Cloud and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What is that? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my YouTube channel to my YouTube channel. <laughs>